Hey everyone, Magic Lover recording for the MTG New, playing a little Legacy one on one action. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. Not optimal, but not bad. We'll go for the uh, obvious turn one basic forest into Noble Hierarch. Which will set me up well next turn. Ooh. This is this is not good. Uh yeah. Want my cradle. Basically, I want to make sure that he's got a... I can throw something in front of this who either has to put Trample on it or, um, you know, break Rancors and get one shot in, but at least I'll do the one point of damage to kill it. So, let's see if he throws it. I will be chump blocking this all day, so that's good. He doesn't have anything for Trample yet. I'll take that. Uh, they usually don't play sweepers. I guess I really don't need to overextend into this. So I'll just chip away for three here. If he pumps, I'm fine. I'm fine with wasting his pump on defense. That's great. Yeah, for, uh, for in fact, anything you can do to get them to, in my opinion, you know, use their pump defensively is usually, uh, pretty good. I'm um, okay if he attacks, no? Hmm, it's a spare. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. Pretty much looking for any action at this point, other than more cradles, more lands. If we draw a Genesis wave, we should be able to run over them. Bower him might be attacking here. Maybe my early willingness to trade off creatures. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Apologize. I sadly don't have anything great to go after. I mean, the only thing I, I'd really go after would be the uh, crop rotation to turn that into a deserted temple. Not, not going to do that yet. I could always do that into Nest Invader to get three creatures total. Nine creature permanent. It's going to go after Cradle. Yep. No, so we're having a backup helps.
can't kill me, he's only got two in hand, so if he wants to, uh, burn a little, no, oh, another witness, huh, jeez, um, got another, so I'll leave the rotation, So now with uh, four more power on the board, I can block a cis bearer. This doesn't have an effect. Oh, he's got a lot of infect out there. Let's see what he does. Make him pump there. And let him try to go for the blowout, but again, wasting his, uh, his pump if he's going to do it. I'm not worried about life totals right now. I don't think that was a very profitable attack for him. I mean, just to keep that alive, he's got to pump it with something, which again gets more pump out of his hand. If he doesn't do anything here, so he loses both of his normal guys. I've still got critical mass. That is unfortunate. Now I can loop witnesses here, which is somewhat annoying. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'll always have a witness on the board. And let's see. Yeah, I'll throw double exalted. His, his play might be just a block with one, so that when the Exalted wears off, he goes away. I'm fine with that. I will trade that one for one. Looks like he's flooding out a little bit. This is way more mana than, in fact, normally likes to have on the board. I'll be blocking with this and recurring it with that, if he chooses. Okie dokie. going to swing first, because if I hit Norn, I want to be able to swing for a boatload, so... But I am okay with... Let's see, I can witness it back. I gotta, I gotta hit something in the 7 here. Worst case scenario, I can wave it back if I don't hit anything next turn. It can't kill me. Yeah. I'm fine with a wave for 8. Oh, two Genesis waves. That is unfortunate. But I did hit a temple. Which is good. Also, I have not played a land this turn. That is good. So, let's... Sack 
it. Now you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I can take a chump out of them. Nothing has haste. I can chump this if I need to. I don't. So I'm just gonna wait and wave next turn for a billion. Actually, I think I can get almost the rest of my deck. Each cycle is seven, six, six, seven, twenty-three. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can wait for almost the rest of my deck. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Damn it! That was a fail. Thought I'd already tapped it. I'm clicking too fast. I'm annoying. I don't think it should matter, but it's just for some reason it lags sometimes, and I thought I clicked the cradle, and apparently I didn't. So I untapped it when it was already untapped, instead of getting the extra six man out of it. Seven. I did not hit. Ooh. But I did hit what I needed to, which was Concordant and Beastmaster. Oh. Now we will just create many triggers. Yeah. So, hit Concordant and Beastmaster didn't need Elish Norn, and that was the ball game. Or no, two more down. Okay. So, anyway, um, interesting match, and thanks for watching.